So I got a lovely question from one of you uh, uh, who asked me on my site explainingmaths.com or on my Facebook uh, for help about angles of elevation and depression. And this is the situation. I already highlighted some key information. Let's have a look. An observer at the top of a tower of a height of 20 meters sees a man due east at an angle of depression of 27 degrees. Yeah, he sees another man due south of him at an angle of depression of 30 degrees. Find the distance between the two men on the ground, it should say. Yeah, so the distance between the two men on the ground. So important information indeed, the height of the tower. Then we're talking about angles of depression, 27 degrees due east, due south, it's 30 degrees. And then what is the distance between the two men? Now, of course we'll make a sketch, yeah? we have to draw something because we're not going to do this mentally. Yeah? Um, so let me just uh, start with a tower, yeah, and I'm standing at the top of that, and that tower is 20 meters high, so I'm going to put 20 there. And then the angle of depression is 27 degrees due east, okay. So I see somebody on the floor, I'm standing on top of the tower, so let's say, yeah, the floor is there, I see somebody there, and uh, let me just, sorry, quickly grab my ruler. Okay, but what is the angle of depression? The angle of depression is always the angle between the horizontal, yeah, and where you see that guy. So if the angle of depression is 27 degrees, then this angle is 27 degrees, yeah, that angle is 27 degrees. So I know many students think it's that one, but no, angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal and where you see your guy. Then you can also say, because of alternate angles, if I just finish the right angle triangle, eh, due east, exactly 90 degrees uh, to the right, yeah, so with the Z angle or alternate angle, I can say that one is 27 degrees, yeah, or I could say uh, that angle there at the top is 90 minus 27, which is 63. Anyway, I have so many options, beautiful, yeah, this is maths. All right, we continue. Uh, because I'm not finished with my sketch, he sees somebody else, yeah, I see two guys, exactly due south, now at an angle of depression of 30 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to add some 3D now to it, so due south, so yeah, because that is exactly in this direction, but now we don't see anything, so I'm just going to do it like this, okay, so that is also a right angle triangle, Okay, so that is a right angle triangle. That makes this also a right angle. Right? This is now a 3D situation. And uh, the angle of depression was 30 degrees. Okay, so again, that's the angle between the horizontal and where he sees his guy. So that one is thir uh, 30 indeed. So this angle is 30 degrees. Yeah, that one there is 60. Okay, the question is, what is the distance between your two guys on the floor? So let me just, yeah, and distance being the shortest distance, that's the length of the line between them. So I'll put a big X there. Okay, beautiful sketch, I have to say. Thank you, well done, uh, John, uh, thank you very much. That's a right angle triangle, okay? So I tell myself now, if I can find, let's say, the length of this one, I'll call it A. Yeah, if I can find the length of that one, I'll call it B, then what can I use to find X? Pythagoras theorem, can't I? Yeah? Because that's a right angle triangle there on the floor. Fantastic, I'm gonna find A. Yeah, so I'll have a look at this triangle, and uh, perhaps you want to write down uh, so ka Toa, yeah, we do trigonometry, yeah? finding the length in a right angle triangle. I can't use Pythagoras theorem. I know this one is 20, but I don't know the hypotenuse. Yeah, well, that one is 20. But I know an angle, so trigonometry. Identify your sides. I know the opposite. I know the adjacent. Opposite adjacent, that's the tangent, yeah? So the tangent of 27 degrees equals the opposite, 20 over A. Yeah, so I'm going to rearrange it, times both sides by A, and then divide by the tangent of 27. I'm going to skip that one step, otherwise this video is going to take ages. But A will be 20 over uh, the tangent of 27 degrees, okay? And if you put it in your calculator, that will be 39.2522. And make sure you write down uh, quite a few of those decimals, okay? Those round already. Okay, because that will uh, 
that will have an effect upon your final answer otherwise. Okay, that's A, fantastic. Let's do the same for B. Now perhaps uh, you want to make a sketch of that triangle, if that is helpful. It looks roughly like uh, this, where that one is 30 degrees. This will then be my tower, it's 20. I'm trying to find B, okay? If that is helpful, uh, in my angle, again, opposite and adjacent, so it's still the tangent. So the tangent of 30 degrees equals the opposite over B, so 20 over B. And if you rearrange that, yeah, times both sides by B, then divide by the tangent of 30 degrees, so 20 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees, and again, write down uh, quite a few decimals, perhaps even all of them, uh, 34.641. That will be B. Fantastic. Now, perhaps you have worked with this angle, yeah, and then you have, uh, uh, yeah, have slightly uh, different calculations, but your answers are the same. Good. What is the distance between those two fellas on the floor? Well, again, perhaps you want to draw a sketch of that triangle, okay, so that is the floor situation, that is A, which is 39.2522, and B was 34.641, yeah, what is the distance, well, Mr. Pythagoras, thank you very much, yeah, you have done us such a pleasure, a squared plus B squared equals the hypotenuse squared, okay? And always take a second, I tell my students, yeah, calm down, I know you're excited, but take a second What is uh, to find out what the hypotenuse is, yeah? And indeed, that is X squared, okay? So all of those numbers squared, 39.2522 squared, it's not even gonna fit here, plus 34.641 squared, Okay, and then x is going to be the square root of that number. Okay, um, so you're gonna add that. I don't have a calculator here, guys, but then you have to do the square root of that number, and then to three significant figures, I have on a little cheat sheet, uh, sheet here on the side, 52.4, correct to three significant figures. Now, uh, what was the units? We're talking about meters, okay? So the distance between those two guys on the floor is 52.4 meters, corrected to three significant figures, okay? So that is that distance, yeah? So thank you very much for asking me that question on my site, explainingmaths.com, yeah? Or on my Facebook, yeah? Or on my Twitter, you can do the same, ask me a question, and I will find time to help you and a lot of friends of you because they'll have the same question as you do, trust me, okay? So thank you again, I'll see you later, enjoy the evening, and take care, bye-bye.